Hello friends from iWire Pastor Ken Harley in Hong Kong. Today is Prophecy for 2012. Okay, one of my most hits was Prophecy for 2010, Prophecy for 2011, this is Prophecy for 2012. As you can see, even the background paintings in my apartment have changed. God is using 2012 to say, remember the faces. Remember the faces. Remember the faces. Even I, here's a rendition of me on the cross. Romans 12 talks about we offer our bodies as a living sacrifice. Jesus has been hitting me with the scripture. Remember the faces. Remember, remember who you are in Jesus Christ. And get rid of all the lusts. Get rid of all the things that take us away. And offer ourselves as a living sacrifice unto God. Another message that's become key with me is Jesus Christ's message is not for just his bride. And we know he's also working on our Jewish brothers and sisters. But more than that, Jesus Christ came to the world to bring the light to the world that no one should perish, that all should have eternal life. So the message for 2012 is for every person in the world, not just the people in the church, not just the Christians, and not just what we would call people who are in our social level or our social stratus. God has his message for the world. Okay, I'm going to read the message so that I get it right. Okay, hopefully I'm not too boring. Okay. I was praying and napping while listening to IHOP worship and intercession this morning as I uh, didn't sleep very well last night. The Lord has been giving me and preparing me for this message for 2012 by telling me it's a time to consolidate and reduce. So one of the ways I'm doing that is the Lord is having me uh, focus in Facebook on people that I'm ministering to here in Hong Kong and a few people, part of my network and uh, accountability network and encouragement network on Facebook. And I went down in the last few days, it's been tiring, but I have went down from 3,500 Facebook friends now I'm at about 1,700 Facebook friends. And my goal before I go back to work on January 3rd is to get it down to less than 1,000. For some reason, the Lord is having me do a Gideon and reducing the people that I'm working with so that I can focus and encourage people here in Hong Kong, receive encouragement from my networks uh, around the world, and also bless them as much as possible. 3,500 friends, it was too much for me at this time, although it may grow again. Uh, so if you are my friend, don't feel I've abandoned you. I love you very much, and it's been very hard to say goodbye and to pray for you and ask Jesus to take care of you and love you very much. Okay? So consolidation into the people and the networks God has for us and reduction so that we can be more impactful and more faithful. If the Lord says, Ken, you need to reduce some of your ministry time to focus just on Mongkok and some of the teaching and some of the ministry, other ministries that he's opening up for me to encourage a lot of people in Hong Kong and throughout the world, I need to do that. I do not need to overwork and get tired when there's a lot more to be done. In 2012, okay, here's the vision. Today I was asleep and praying and soaking and I had a vision that I was taken up into heaven. Father had golden packages made of heavenly organic-like material that he was sending into the world for Christmas. And it, I saw like a factory, a heavenly factory with thousands and thousands and thousands of this live organic, heavenly organic material and that God had them and he was sending to us to them. Now it's funny because the real Saint Nicholas was a bishop in um, Turkey around 200 uh, AD. And that if there was a Santa Claus that went around the world sending packages from heaven, this 
Saint Nicholas would be involved in it, although the real Saint Nicholas really didn't do that, but did other cool things as a pastor for his people in that small village he was from. Okay, so these golden packages, they're like um, in lines, production lines. See, we see in the two dimension, but God is constantly sending his blessings and his glory and his shine and his light and all the beautiful fruits of the Spirit and the gifts of the Spirit and everything he has to the world, to the world, to the world, nonstop motion, nonstop creativity. God has a bank in heaven, one uh, leader has been speaking about, that has all of your future gifts, all of your future creativity, everything that you need, everything that you can possibly imagine. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. And we have to experiment, and we have to create, and we have to go forward and not worry about the past, not worry about propriety, but follow Jesus into his vision. You know, we use the scripture, we use the wisdom of the Holy Spirit and the fruits of the Spirit, but we need to go into the creativity, not be cautious. There's 7 million people in Hong Kong, more or less, who don't know Jesus and don't know that their religion, their system, their denomination, their Buddhism or whatever, Muslim, Hinduism, whatever they belong to, atheism, um, that those systems are not where God is. That God is living and breathing and is blowing into their minds, blowing into their hearts, blowing into their heart, heart cries and anguishes and responding to them with life and love and hope and beauty. That's what the Christian message is. It's not a religion. It's not a system. It's not a structure. It's not our social club that we love and what we believe and who we are. It is life. It is light. It is the spirit. It is the life of God. It's the power of God. It's the purpose of God for the world. It's alive, organic, heavenly organic. The angels moving around. How many angels on a pin? All kinds of things beyond our grasp, beyond everything we can imagine in whom we live and move and have our being. Okay, so I saw these packages and these gifts are coming for you as Christmas gifts in a few days. They are the future in your life. They are life itself and you will be inspired beyond what you have ever experienced and nothing of earth will matter to you as the heavenly creativity will come upon you. And, the, and then we will live and do the things here on earth and things will change because we're not doing things for the normal things. If you want to buy a house, buy a house. But it's not so that you can have something to protect, prepare for your retirement. We can't live in that economy anymore. Prepare your retirement. Prepare your things for your children. But if you don't give unto the Lord, if you don't give into what He's doing and sow your life into what He's doing, then when those things pass away, what will you have left in the new life? Okay? So these gifts are coming to you in a few days. And they are the true fa they are Father in Heaven's true gift for you. Be happy and rest in Jesus' at peace and joy this Christmas season. Give a lot of gifts to your friends. I love gifts. I would love some gifts. Some of my friends know what kind of gifts I like. But there's no true gift. But the love of God pouring into us, making us lighter, giving us hope and joy and excitement, and then us loving those around us. But that's not always easy. But God is going to take us further into how we can do that. Okay. Abundance will be released, and even on our natural poverty, life will increase, that we will live beyond our means without raising up debts and credit card bills. We will live lives of faith, but we will be able to learn how to use the, the money that we have. Okay, We will be able to learn how to work with people and cooperate with people so that we can have greater abundance. Uh, recently, my family has been visiting me here in Amer from America. And if we look at the amount of money that we've saved by staying in my small apartment and helping each other and cooperating, it literally, uh, my, my mother and father have saved something like, in the six months they've been here, 18,000 US dollars more or more, just by hanging with me in my apartment, 
Can you imagine when people start to work together and pray together and inspire one and each one another and not live by somebody in control, but just trying to work and cooperate together? You could save $100,000 in a year. Maybe because you don't work or maybe because you do work, but you learn to cooperate. It's very hard to do that, though, especially for rugged individual Americans. Okay. Um, focus on heaven, focus on the heavenly gifts that are coming in a few days, focus on our beloved Father, Jesus, and Holy Spirit, and a million angels, and only light, and healing, and daring. Be positive. Don't look for the negative. Nobody can last in a negative environment. Your prayers are coming to be answered. Your spirit will commune, commune with Holy Spirit, and you will enter 2012 more fully alive and ready to consolidate Father's plan through Jesus' intercession and works of the Holy Spirit. Boom! I'm doing this. Boom! Boom, 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 boom. Imagine when God's Spirit is so strong in you because you're giving up everything else. You're going into your room and you're just spending time with God. Sure, it's sweet hour of prayer. Sure, it's boring. But put on some IHOP intercession or worship. Soak in the presence of Jesus and we will be happy. But more than that, we will be happy. This is my greatest Christmas coming up because I can spend six, eight, nine hours of the whole day playing and singing and worshiping and ministering and giving people gifts and not just in my uh, house with my family and being unhappy because I didn't get what I want. We all can be better. Jesus loves you. 2012 is a key time. And remember... If you lose people in 2012, God is not the God of the dead. God is the God of the living. You are sending them in the greater peace of glory than you can ever imagine. And then welcome them as they go to heaven. Welcome them as they go into the greatest things that, that they could ever experience in life. And then we continue giving people life here, praying for them, lifting holy hands, interceding for all the people that we see on the trains, the planes, the automobiles, the gas stations, the petrol stations, the supermarkets. We all need to pray in tongues, and if you don't believe in that, just pray and intercede and groan before the Father and bring in His Spirit, and we will truly be happy. Message for 2012, sent to you with a lot of love. In Jesus' name. Pastor, I wire Pastor Ken Harley in Hong Kong saying bye bye.